Wondering how to differentiate between all of the dental restorations? Let's talk about different dental materials like types of crowns, fillings, and other things like that used in dentistry. Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about dental materials. Now, if you wanna learn all about general dental terminology, tooth morphology, the surfaces of the tooth and the tooth numbers, be sure to check out that video of mine. I'll link in the description box. But for the purpose of this video, we're gonna be talking about all of the different types of restorations in your mouth and how to determine the differences between them when both charting and looking at x-rays. Let's start with fillings. Simply said, you can have a silver filling, also known as an amalgam filling, or a tooth colored filling, also known as composite or resin. The silver amalgam fillings tend to appear bright white on x-rays, whereas the tooth colored composite resin fillings tend to appear whitish, but not as bright white. You can see the difference here. Something interesting to note is sometimes with composite fillings, they might appear dark instead of light. It's often hard to tell between a cavity and a tooth colored filling if it looks like this. It's more likely to be a filling if the margins are smooth like this, but not always. It can also be a chunk of tooth that is missing. So just something to be aware of. Always double check clinically. And one more thing about fillings. Sometimes they are called bondings, especially if they are for the front teeth. Again, as you can see right here, one is radiolucent and one is radiopaque. I have a whole video about bondings if you'd like to learn more, but quick recap. In addition to filling in teeth, filling material can also technically be used to build up teeth, such as in some types of veneers, which we'll get to in just a second. But first, let's talk about crowns. The generalized three different types of crowns are full metal, porcelain fused to metal, also known as PFM, and all ceramic, sometimes called all porcelain, sometimes Emax or zirconia. So for the full metal crown, similar to silver fillings, they are going to look bright, super bright white. The entire crown of the tooth will be bright white on an x-ray. And usually the outline is pretty uniform. It's one solid color. If it's say a gold filling, sometimes the outline will not be perfectly smooth, but sometimes it might be if it was prepped super smoothly. These are hard to miss clinically. You're gonna see it in the mouth. They will either be all gold or all silver and on the x-ray they will be light. Very bright, like we said, super bright with clean borders. Even if they're all rigidy, you can see that they're bright on all the borders. It's solid metal all the way around covering the entire tooth. Whereas PFM crowns turn out to be pretty bright on the x-rays as well, so it's sometimes start to tell the difference between full metal and porcelain fused to metal, but you can often tell where the metal ends and the porcelain portion starts. The porcelain layer is very slightly light and the metal part is super bright, like we keep saying. I've heard people describe PFMs as resembling jellyfish, <laughs> but yeah, you can see the metal core is so bright, but the porcelain outline isn't as bright. The borders are not as clean as the full metal crowns because you can usually see the shell around it. But again, even though it's a little easier to distinguish between a full metal and a PFM on an X-ray, it's extremely hard and sometimes impossible, dare I say impossible, to distinguish between a full metal crown, like a gold crown, and a zirconia crown, which is an all ceramic crown. With zirconia, the margins will usually be very smooth. You won't see the unevenness like in some gold crowns. So that's my one tip, but my best advice, you'll never get it wrong if you always double check clinically, right? Look in the mouth, because then you'll easily know if it's full metal, it's going to look all silver or all gold, and PFM is going to look tooth colored, but if you check the margins, sometimes you will see the metal showing through. And if you can't see the margins, they aren't visible clinically, then you gotta rely on the x-ray, right? And now back to zirconia, when we're talking full ceramic crowns, a full tooth colored crown, lots of them will actually look like this, all squiggly, still a lighter color than enamel, but usually it's foggy or squiggly in appearance and maybe you'll only kind of see the one line or a couple lines, usually the all ceramic Emax ones. However, like I said, the zirconia can totally look like a gold crown on an x-ray. So again, I can't stress enough how important it is to always check clinically if you are charting the dentition. Next up, inlays and omlays. They work similar to crowns, but they do not cover the entire crown of the tooth, only a few surfaces of the tooth. So an inlay usually will fill in cavities and hollows in a tooth between the cusps. Oftentimes it's a lab fabricated filling and an onlay will not only fill in the cavities, but they can also include the cusps of the tooth. So it's almost like a three fourth crown. Oftentimes nowadays, lots of dentists like to opt for the full crown because there's a less chance of needing to replace it again in the future. However, if you're really trying to preserve as much tooth structure as possible, the onlay instead of a crown is sometimes an option. It just depends on the individual situation. Pause for a quick dental announcement. 
If you like teeth and you want to learn even more about teeth, I now have a weekly toothy newsletter. There's a link in the bottom bar if you want to sign up to receive toothy tips in your email each week. Things like how to afford the dentist, teeth whitening hacks, we tackle all the dental questions that you may have and I hope to see you there. Now back to the video, back to dental materials. Next up, sealants. Oftentimes not visible on an x-ray, maybe sometimes if they really globbed it on the occlusal plus did an enamel plasty beforehand, but more likely than not you won't see them on an x-ray. Again, either way, you'll always need a double check clinically, check all the grooves of all the molars and sometimes even the premolars to see if there's any sealants present. You can easily tell the difference between a sealant and a filling clinically if the tooth structure is still intact and only the grooves are lined. Then it's most likely sealant material. It tends to appear white or clear in the grooves. And again, the tooth itself will remain undisturbed. It will only have a thin line of material in the grooves and the pits. On some charting systems, it will pop up as an S instead of showing the actual grooves being filled in, like when you're charting fillings, just some things to note. Now on to veneers. Similar to crowns, they may look differently on an x-ray depending on what type of material they use. Lots of times to determine between a veneer and a crown, it's best to check clinically again. I know I keep saying that, but it really helps to see if the material wraps around the entire tooth, which would be a full crown, or only if it's wrapped around the anterior side and a little bit of the posterior, then it would be a veneer. I do a video all about veneers, which I will also link if you want to learn more about the differences between crowns and veneers. And I go into detail about all the different types of veneers as well as a veneer video where you can watch the process of placing a veneer in office. Root canals, of course, look like fillings on an x-ray, but instead of only on the crown surface, they extend down into the root. So they will be whitish in color and fill in the lines of the root. You know, calculus tartar is also something worth mentioning. Always check around the entire tooth for any specks of tartar. I do also have an x-ray terminology video that dives deep into understanding x-rays and finding things on your x-rays, but for the purpose of this video, here's a quick photo of tartar. And lastly, braces will always show up on x-rays to determine whether they are clear or metal brackets. Again, always check clinically. <laughs> I think the theme of this video is clearly that if you want to properly chart the mouth, be sure to check both clinically and radiographically to confirm everything, right? And that goes with everything in dentistry. To confirm a cavity, the dentist checks with both an x-ray and a clinical exam to check for gum disease. We take x-rays and a clinical assessment with probings, right? So hopefully it was a nice refresher reminding you that you all always need a combination of evidence to determine what's going on in someone's mouth. And please feel free to comment below if you have any other advice for those looking to enter the field of dentistry or those who are just interested in knowing what's going on in their mouth at their dental appointments. I'll link everything I mentioned earlier in the description box and I hope this video helped you. Please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if it did. If you want even more teeth talk, be sure to visit my website teethtalkgirl.com, sign up for my newsletter, and hang out with me on Instagram at teethtalkgirl. Peace, love, and teeth.